So signing on for a Marvel movie isn't quite like signing on for any other movie. So what was the most surprising thing about joining the whirlwind that's the MCU? The most surprising thing, the most surprising thing? I'm trying to think what surprised me. Um, um, surprising, <laughs> trying to think. Hmm. This um, is why you should have been drinking coffee instead of the green well, because juice. Because I'd be like, I'd, be, <laughs> I'd have answers coming out of my ears. Um, that the superhero suits are so uncomfortable. They didn't tell you that. They no, tell they, me no that. one tells no you that. No one tells you that. They're, they're, and then once we, um, you know, you sign up, they say, oh, you should train for the suit. And it's because it's like, you snap back, it snaps you back into this position um, and you have to work against it and it's quite, I, I was quite surprised. I mean, I think you're spot on. You've, to, you've taken the top spot there with surprise. <laughs> I think. I think. Secondly, maybe was how secret everything is. Because I've been yeah. on. I've been on other franchises, you know, for other companies, and felt like I'd had my fair share of like, don't reveal this, don't reveal that. This was Another a whole level. other level. My children were having to sign NDAs <laughs> if they wanted to come and visit me, right. yeah. and cloaks, cloaks with hoods yeah. on. To we go from trailers to bathroom to or trailers to lunch. Yeah, very. Um, it was. It's intense. It's. I mean, they really protect it. And we were discussing. so because yeah. you know there's a huge hunger for information. But from we were discussing this yesterday. It made you, because you're aware of that. But when when you're suddenly wearing the cloak all day or, or in hiding, you suddenly become a bit paranoid. And you think, wow, there <laughs> yeah. really are people out there well, trying there? to get a photograph of me. Or are there? Or are there? Yeah. <laughs> it's true because everybody loves this franchise so much mm. and there are so many good secrets that I can't wait for everyone to experience in this say. one. One of my favorite parts about this movie was the introduction of the Kree, and I'm just fascinated by Kree ideology, which obviously has, mm. it's got some good and not so good in it. So I was wondering mm. what part of the Kree beliefs did uh, did you two find yourself drawn to most? I don't know about being drawn to many of them, if I'm honest, because there's, there's, it's slightly imperialistic. I, I, yeah. I, I, it made me think quite a lot. I've been living in Rome for the last few years, and it, it reminded me of a lot of the, the, the studies I've done there on the Roman Empire. Yeah. It's sort of a, a, a very um, physically driven, um, also dominant, uh, a physically yeah. dominant, um, and... It's very tribal, and it's very, you know, us and them, we're the best, mm. we're superior, and I think, you know that can be that can get you so far but it's also very dangerous i think and i you know it's not something that i could you know get on board with no, necessarily me i think i mean i suppose the admirable things they have they're very they are strong they are fearless they are disciplined um what else can we say what was the, positive? <laughs> the race above the individual. That was one yeah. of the things that kind of spoke to me, I guess, more yeah. so than anything. Uh, I think we talked I talked about that with Anna and Ryan before we started, mm. and there's a kind of as well as a kind of militaristic element, there's a, a kind of Buddhist thing as well going mm. through it, which is that yeah, that you are you the the, the whole comes before you as an individual. And mm. there's something very powerful in that, you know, and that can be that can serve you well, or it can also be exploited, I think. Absolutely. Mm. How about the supreme intelligence? Have you two ever tried to envision who you might see if you ever encounter Well, there's it? a scene that's actually not in the final cut of this film, mm. uh, which I think is going to be on the like extras. little extras, mm -hmm. so I'm not going to reveal, but I actually shot a scene with uh, my character's supreme intelligence. Ooh. That's kind of interesting, and now the wheels in my head are turning. Um, before we have to close this out, I have a very important question for you. Tell me something so bizarre about yourselves that a scroll couldn't even come up with it. Well, that's a good one. Mm. Um, Sometimes I like to eat Marmite straight from the jar. Do you know what Marmite? Do you get Marmite here? Marmite? Marmite. 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 No, Marmite. I don't. Marmite. <laughs> <laughs> what it's is a, it? It's a British... Um, it's like a beef of, reduction. No, 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 no that's like yeast, no. yeast reduction. Yeah, it's it's you either love it or you hate it. God, I sound like a mom. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that is the catchphrase. <laughs> that's the catchphrase. Now I have um, to try it. That's you the have catchphrase to try it. of mom. I'm busy eating peanut butter from the jar. Maybe I'm missing out. Ooh, Maybe. No, I'm with you on that. <laughs> I'm. I, a, I don't like. I like peanut butter. Mm, okay, smart. mine is. I when I was four, I painted my bike gold, and then I painted myself gold. <laughs> <laughs> I have a photo of it. <laughs> that better be the truth. Yeah, it is the truth. I painted a completely gold Why? head because the bike looks so good. I figured, like, <laughs> I did this. So I painted 
everything gold. And then with, rode with it around. With bike paint, with not. Yeah. Your full face on as well. Everything. Oh. Hands, clothes, How shoes. How long did that take to get off? A long time. Mm. 